Alright guys, welcome back. Um, this is part 5 of uh, building our rig. If you haven't been watching these videos, check um, the first one and all the parts we're putting in. But basically, we got as far as putting the motherboard into the case, water blocks, and the memory. So the next thing we're going to be doing is putting the um, water cooling in. This is a kit that was originally pretty much made for the level GT10 um, case by Thermaltake, which I originally got, but then had to return because we got a bigger motherboard that wouldn't fit it. But uh, I'm not going to return it, we're still going to use it as a single radiator uh, cooling system. So let's go quickly open it, see what we got. Uh, comes with all the necessary tubing you need. Of course, your tubing. Some uh, clamps and some screws. Uh, manual. Uh, warranty info. And read your manual, guys. I don't always think you know what you're doing. Uh -huh. just, just in case, the first couple pages. We know it's always just so riveting. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, all right, so uh, in here we have the actual unit as well. I don't know why there's two of those on there, but one is good enough. Yeah, what's cool about that is that it's got the fan controller for the radiator already on there. Um, and it's a dual bay um, installation to the computer. It's going to fit the uh, five. 0.25 inch um, yeah. slots. So if you look under here, here's our radiator. It's kind of like a little self-contained pump. Here's the radiator. Here's a fan for uh, cooling the actual radiator. And here's our reservoir and then the pump. Yep. Mm -hmm. And it comes with uh, the bottle that you're going to be filling up your tank with, you know, uh, making sure you're careful not spilling it all over the place. It uh, comes with the liquid necessary for the application. It did actually come with a water block as well for one chip, but this is what I was saying earlier, don't use one that has the aluminum bottom, copper is a better heat sink, so, um, you know, we're basically throwing this out because we got two other thermal take water blocks, but um, Ted has a box which has other um, screws and all of those mount yeah. kits that are needed. Screws and uh, mounting kits if we were going to be using the uh, supplied yeah. heat sink. And they, they come with one of these thermal take uh, thermal paste. So we took it out earlier because we had to uh, combine the um, water blocks with the chips. So. And below this one? Yeah. Basically, we just took the case apart in order to get the um, 5.25 uh, inch covers off the front of the case. As you see, we removed the front of the case. We got the two different fans, and I heard some uh, YouTube um, reviews saying that the uh, light was too um, dim. We haven't lit it on, but I'm assuming because you got the tinted plastic glass on the fans and all of them, so it's probably going to dim the light. And here's the uh, second piece right there. That's the actual front panel, the front, front fascia, whatever. Yep, and we're actually taking out the the upper four um, levels because we're going to have the dual bay, water cooling, then our fan controller, and then the last thing, our CD drive. So let's put it back on. Alright, so we got the uh, water cooling dual bay uh, contraption in the case. This is the way it looks. We took the little bays out. The things were really easy to snap in. We had to re remove uh, basically one of these bars right here which are at the top but it's you know right now um it should be pretty well aligned with the uh, pipes coming out of here into one block into the second block back around into the pump and it doesn't conflict with the memory location so we're good to go we'll show you uh, we'll go to the next step yeah, and show you tubing yeah it's not going to be a a long run out in out in out and then back into the pump all right, so real quickly, we're putting the tube. We're trying to figure out how it's best going to go into the water block and out of the um, the, the pump of the um, the whole unit. And basically, what we have to do is we have to get some uh, dish soap and lube it up a little bit because otherwise, I mean, you want to get the tube down all the way through um, the connection, like all the way to the rim of it. So. That's what we're doing real quick and then we'll come back with the rest of the tubing implemented. Alright, so we're, um, we're pretty much done with routing the, routing the tubing uh, from the pump and the reservoir of the unit. You see that we went to the second chip first, second processor, and then went back 
to the first processor and out of that we went back into the pump um, we just had to do it because otherwise we had uh, big enough bends where it was like cutting the circulation yeah, out basically kink. we had kinks so uh, this, is the, this is what we ended up with uh, let's, on, let's move on to the next step the last thing we gotta do is uh, fill up the uh, reservoir basically the water tank with uh, the water cooled liquid Alright, so we got the water uh, pumping through. Uh, let me see if I can get some yeah, light in here. Yeah, the air's out of it pretty much. And it seems like the air is out of the uh, tubes. And basically what we did, there is, uh, if I can get this light over my shoulder here. Um, we had to pump the water into the reservoir. And it actually, it's better if you have two people doing this. But, um, you know, we put uh, pretty much filled up the tank and we turned it on. Let it suck through, let it pump through, and then uh, we poured some more in there. You know, we first turned it off, obviously, then we poured some more in there until about the fourth time it pulled it enough through where now I got rid of the air and we're gonna be sealing it shut. So we got the rest of the case on, uh, as you see in the, in the front. The screen's working, it's asking for the, um, it's a boot, basically, operating system. So we're going to launch this thing, mess with the BIOS, and then uh, we're going to report back mm -hmm. once we got this puppy running. Okay.